Okay, a thousand mile journey. Uh, I've had a, a bit more of a look into it. I've probably spent about an hour now looking into it. Um, it's 1,600 miles in total, just short of 1,600. But the, there's sort of a couple of challenges really. It's going to be north to south, so the northernmost rapid charge, which is right on the tip of Scotland. Um, and then there's a taxi company down south in Cornwall. Um, I'll need to go up to, from home, up to the very northern point of Scotland, charge, there's a charger up there, so I'll be charging there. Turn around, because that's about 630 miles up to there from my house. Turn around and then come back down, I think it's Carlisle, um, is where it'll be the thousand mile mark. So, that is a thousand miles, and I want to do that ideally in 24 hours. Now, the time in a petrol car is about 11 hours to get up there, just to get up there, and then it's about another five to come down um, to Carlisle. So it's going to be it's going to be pushing it, but at the end of the day, it's going to be a lot of miles in a day, and probably the most that anyone's done in Nissan Leaf in one day. I would have thought. Um, Maybe not, maybe someone's done a thousand miles, it's been no problem. But I don't think so, looking at it, including the charge times, and really it's only charged to 80%, it's gonna, it's gonna be struggling to get 24 hours. Um, the advantage, of course, is that I can sleep on the charges. So it's not like a 24 hour drive, it'll be 24 hours in the car, but it'll be, um, I'll be able to sleep for the 40 minutes of charges, 30 to 40 minutes each time um, there's obviously going to be a lot of charges so I've looked into that I've written to several people Eco Tristy being one uh, Charger Car Network seems to be Scotland upwards which I never realised seems to start about there on the motorway uh, on the main roads the rapid charges so I've had to apply for a card for that that's 20 quid a year and um, then you pay for your charges but from what I can see they're, they're not charging anything at the moment um, so I've written to them just asking them is it a clear route up and there is everything up and running. Uh, I've written to Eco Tristy so is it a clear route down and part of the route north as well. Um, I'll have to use Eco Tristy. I know there's, a, there's, a, there's one charger north and south which is down which makes it um, it's 79 miles between chargers. The one next one is available when it's working and I don't think the Leaf would do 79 miles on the motorway. So um, I'm going to roll this out pretty quickly and I'm hoping to do it within a week so as soon as I get charged your car uh, card I'm just planning on going for this um, without really any real planning as such obviously I need to plan pretty heavily the charges and make sure I know more or less where I'm going to be but I'm going to rely on phoning them up um, so yeah I'm moving forward with this and we'll see how it goes wife's not overly impressed that I'll be just gallivanting off as she calls it but it is Quite an epic challenge, I think. So I shall be interested to see where this leads me and what it actually pans. I might do 100 miles and that's it. Or I might get 600 miles or I might get 400 miles. Um, but let's find out. It's the whole point of this, to see where it leads me. In a Tesla, this would be no, no real biggie at all because it does 300 miles to 350 miles on a single charge. So I could get up there with just one charge and then one charge back and then a couple of charges down south. So it's... It's not so much doing an electrical vehicle as doing it in Nissan Leaf, which has only got a mileage range of about 75 miles on the motorway. So, um, yeah, we shall see. See how it goes.